come back to the Halig tree roots. So we've made our way further and further down, dealing with pests, dealing with all sorts of challenges, including a triple Crystallian fight, which will live long in the memory. That was pretty awesome. Uh, we're just uh, we've got a boss door here. Who knows what this could be? This could be. So uh, I feel like we should be going further and further down here, but this, I don't know, I don't know. I'm going to head back up though. Uh, it's going to be a bit stressful running back through this church full of pests. But I just want to go off to the sides. Is there a way out of here without triggering all these things? Absolutely not, no. <laughs> I don't really need to hide, but there is like a significant number of them. See ya! If some of them want to come out here and get me, then fine, but... Yeah, come get some. You and your son. Right. It's a bit dark here now. There's a knight round the corner here, so I'm just going to try and deal with everyone here. Bleed. Oh yeah, I said I was going to use my fist weapons. <laughs> that should be fun, man. Let's, let's give it a try. Why did I go that way around? damage. Not much, but we've got it in both hands. <laughs> I am Captain Spike Hands. We're going to take some hits doing this. That's for damn sure. Finally picked up a Halig Tree Circo, at least. Welcome! Ah. Who's, who's using sorcery? This is challenging. Oh, now his backup comes. There's the bleeds. Okay, don't get killed by the puny spearman. Well. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Give me the shield. I want one of those shields. They're fancy. Uh, this playstyle is not going to 
get me to last too long, <laughs> to be honest. And you can't use fist weapons with single handed. Oh, you dirty sorcerer, man. Oh. Okay, sack that. <laughs> I'm sure people can make effective use of that, but you have to take so much damage. Oh, wow. I need another couple points in intelligence. Well, not really. I could use some different gear and use it, but I'll wait a little longer. And then he runs straight to the boss room. Let's not do that. There's nothing down there for us. It's just clipping right through the ground. I would really like one of their gold, white and gold shields. It's a lovely church though. Ow. You bastards. Right. Actually, the guy's quite far down here. There might be a dungeon down there. You are cornered, sir. I like the aesthetic on these knights the most, I think, of all the like slight redesigns. The shield is nice as well. show you how it's really done now that I've got my legitimate weapon. Tree night gauntlets, sure. Where did we die? Yeah, over here. No, you don't. Give me that shield, man.
It's nicer that it's not night time anyway. Oh, good job this guy didn't spot us. No shield drops. Harsh, they're all me paying the respects. Well, I'll have lots of armor to sell to Hugh. Wonder what's going to be behind the boss door. There's a. Uh, feels like you know. Well, yeah, but uh, still not running to Horalu. I was. I'd forgotten about that. That's pretty much the person I was expecting to find here. I see you, Mr. Archer. Oh, I can't get up there, can I? Trudge back round here. He didn't drop anything. Maybe he's just, yeah, because he's an archer. Hmm. See, I'm, I'm wondering who we're going to run into in that boss room, because... I'm still kind of clinging on to the... Because we've not actually had to fight any of the Imperians, right? We worked with Rani. Mikola has kind of been abducted by Moog, so we didn't really fight Mikola, even though Mikola did summon Moog to defeat us. We didn't actually have to fight um, Mikola. It's just that the thing is that Melania is a renowned swordswoman. So. Whereas the other two definitely weren't centered on combat. But, you know, Rani is Rani's a witch, so. Stupid little pests. Yeah, good luck with that. Ow. The key here is going to be not triggering all of them, because the problem with dealing with multiple pests. Is that they um, they do a lot of what the, they do a lot of flanking. So if you're locked onto one and it goes behind you, the others are on the other side. And then if they hit one of those projectile attacks, that can like one shot you more or less. That took more, off more health than I would have liked. Straight through the tree. I see you've played Dark Souls before. Yeah, that's right.
Don't you run away. We must protect the little ones. There's a lot of them over here, man. Get rid of the little ones. They're annoying. Wake up. the flanking that is going on here. Oops. Can't complain. Nothing for us down there. Sorry. Damn it. <laughs> no point wasting that now. Oh, look. Man, they do a lot of damage, though. All these runes. Okay. Oh, that's someone who fell off. All right. Nothing here then. I guess we just go into the boss room. So yeah, nothing to do with Horalu at all. Chieftain of the Badlands. Nowhere to be found. I mean, I don't know if we're going. If this boss door is like the end of this area, I'd like there to be more. But just consider, just look, considering the the size of the place, right? I guess all of the towers around the edge maybe are just there for decoration. We've got quite a lot of runes. We've got a level up, so we'll go and do that. We don't need to fight these guys again. Okay, don't die. I could have just fast traveled back here as well. Yeah, fist weapons may be fun for PvP, but... The fact that this is right outside the boss door suggests something pretty major to me, but... I've got 46,000 runes. So I could just pop some of these. <laughs> I 
Interesting, the Newman, yeah. The same stock as Queen Marika herself. So we need 135k. Oh, that's 90,000 we need to uh, level up. Just because so, I don't want to necessarily go into a major boss fight carrying the spin rings. I know it's not that many, but it's, it's reasonable, right? Then I can just not have to worry about it every time I run in. Right, and then we can use Loretta's weapon now. I know I could just reallocate points and stuff, but I like having just being able to just pick up and try stuff. Because now, I, uh, if I just if I equip the intelligence thing, I will be able to use this. I'm not going to use it for a boss fight, obviously. All right, um, let's get rid of superfluous stuff here. We we'll probably need the boluses actually. Let's get rid of unnecessary stuff. Throwing knives are always necessary, in case I'm really desperate. Now, do I still need this? Yes, obviously. Get rid of the torch. Oh, deep breath. Feels pretty significant. Oh dear. Red hair. The one arm as well. Millicent is of her blood. I dreamt for so long. My flesh was dull gold, and my blood rotted. Corpse after corpse left in my wake. As I awaited his return. Heed my words. I am Melania, Blade of Mikola. And I have never known defeat. <laughs> oh! She's, is she getting health back off that? She is? Okay, that's a grab. That's nearly all my health. I think she's healing off every hit. Let's just see. Yeah, oh my god, blocking is just, you can't block. Wow, this is a nightmare. Um, could I have summoned Millicent for this?
Okay, she doesn't have that much poise, but... She's going to recover. Oh, I'm dead. Ouch. Wow, this is uh, going to take some thinking about how I'm supposed to deal with this because um, my entire build centers around blocking. So, yeah. We can't summon Millicent, interestingly. There's no summon sign here that I've missed. I would have noticed this is like a clean floor. It's not like there's textures or, you know, like tree roots or whatever on the floor that are going to get in the way. Right, so you just if you get hit, it's just going to massively hinder your progress. But I suppose the way that that's balanced is that she doesn't have a ton of poise. I don't think she had, like, a massive amount of health. Like, she was nowhere near as tanky as Moog was. So perhaps this is a fight I need to be two-handing. We're going to need to proc bleeds. Definitely. She's not... Obviously, the second phase might have Scarlet Rot in it, but she's not currently doing Scarlet Rot damage. It's really cool that her, her sword doesn't have a handle on it because it's with her artificial... It's with her metal prosthetic arm, so she doesn't need one, which is pretty cool, right? It's just bare metal. So I'm still going to keep the shield up because I need to learn the moveset, so even if she's going to recover health, like I'm going to be able to stay alive and see what's going on. So I'm, I'm not going to abandon the shield, and ultimately, the shield will keep us alive. It just will give her health back. So I think I'm just going to keep it... I'm going to keep it in my hand because if I get caught out of position, right, or if I panic roll, it's better to have the shield up than to panic roll again and take full damage because whether she hits us... If she hits us without the shield, she's going to get the same amount, maybe even more health back. So... Maybe Millicent's already dead. Maybe she's given herself to Melania. I might be a bit more aggressive just to see if I can proc a bleed on her. Yeah, we can outpoison her. For sure. Oh, damn it. Button mashing. Got to watch out for that grab and the piercing attack because that that can one shot us at this point in the fight. Nope. Yeah. Yeah, she's got no poise. fight man this is a Sekiro fight and that is beautiful I love Sekiro this that, like that that move that was like um that was like Ishin right and the uh, and the blades get left in the air um oh I'm digging this but we can trade hits with her that's that's probably gonna be the key is finding the spots where she's gonna be committed to like a multi-hit combo and we can kind of slot in in the middle and maybe getting like three heavy hits because we can ins we can poise through quite a lot of these stuff. We, ob we obviously recover some health back on successful hits, but it's nowhere near the amount that she does. So, because uh, I got her down to almost half health there, but then she recovered quite a lot of health back. <laughs> oh yes, it's going to be a saga. I don't know. I'm not going to use the bleed. I'm not going to use it. I want to do this just me and her. I know I might proc a bleed anyway. Oh. 
Yeah, I can't I can't trade hits. It's just not efficient at all. Unless I'm using the bleed, which I might use it. I'm just being Yeah, crazy. Yeah, I prop to bleed anyway. Oh, I'm button mashing. Chill out, Meladia. She's going to get all the health back. I'm going to have to double chug. Boys! Oh. We've got the slightly morose music as well. Okay. So I think I think I'm gonna need I don't know about about using the uh, bleed, but there's bleed on my weapon already, so I might as well use it. I just and I, I know you guys have said that using the bleed using bleed is a little bit overpowered, but I feel like if I'm gonna be accepting of the fact that we're gonna trade hits here, um, I think it it kind of balances it out for my build a little bit, but. Um, I just, I'm just gonna double check for like Millicent's summon sign here. Yeah, part of me thought that we weren't actually gonna fight Melania. You know, just because of the other, the two other Imperians, we haven't, we haven't actually fought them. I mean, we could tell her where, we could tell her how to go and find Mikola and bring him back. Oh, she's running to me. Ah, that's a big one. Ah, oh, I'm dead. <laughs> okay. So, she might not have a full second phase. I think she definitely will. But I did get her down to pretty much half health on the attempt before that one. Um. Hmm. In terms of changes to my loadout here, we need that. We definitely need that. That This might be kind of optional. Right, because I just don't think we need it. It's five extra strength. I mean, I mean, we're gaining an extra what twenty damage off that. Not even that. Nineteen extra damage for that. No, oh, but we're getting extra uh, defense, I guess. I haven't thought of that. Uh, she's not yet doing any kind of elemental damage. I imagine the Scarlet Rot will play a factor at some point. So the other option is we can go two-hand in. We could two-hand, sorry. Um, you have to avoid that grab at all costs. 
I need to not button mash as much because I'm trying to trade hits with her. I'm just kind of slinging. And that's made me miss a few crits. Uh, this might be useful, but I, I don't think we're going to get crits often enough for that to be useful. Now let's just stick with as is. Let's craft some more rock uh, blood grease. <laughs> we might need a lot of this stuff. Best your vitality will probably help. Prayerful strike, I just, I'm not sure we're going to be able to make use of it at all. And she's full health. Right. Yeah, bleed's going to be massive here. I was just trying to see how many hits the bleed would proc on. I think it's about five, five or six hits with uh, the grease on there. Obviously, I, I should have healed. I realised that I was just. Do it. I've messed it up already. Heavy attacks are definitely going to help break a poise a bit more. Ah! Alright. Alright. Messed that up at the beginning by uh, doing the good old not re-equip the shield nonsense that I do. I, have to, I probably do that once every difficult boss fight. Right? I'm not going to use the blood grease just while I'm still getting to grips with things here. Well, I'll look at using a different wondrous physic combination. Yeah, we can interrupt her is the thing. Yeah, we can use prayerful strike if we have, if we can time it right. Which that was not. Got a 
watch out for the grab. I didn't get the health then, did I? Yeah, I think I did. No! Every time I heal, man. I needed that to hit. <laughs> Gonna have some ma major tricks up her sleeve in this second phase. Oh, thought, thought I was a bit slow then. I got some health back. Oh. Bet you guys have been waiting for this fight. Seeing me blocking everything with my great shield, thinking, just wait, Matt. Just wait until you get to Melania. <laughs> you won't stand a chance. <laughs> I think the problem is I'm trying to trade hits with her so much, I'm really not kind of learning the moveset. So I think I just need to maybe be a little bit more passive here so I can... No, no I don't. It's like that. Oh, I did it again, man. I got the bleed at least. Let's see if we can trigger a second phase, maybe. No. No! God damn it. Run! Alright, alright. Oh, that was a grab. Gotta run, man. She's got that stupid uh, thrust attack that gets me every time I heal. Oh god, I'm dead. Come on, man, I wanna just see the second phase. I'm gonna heal again. I'm not, I'm not gonna bother with prayerful strike too much here. So, oh, where's my poise? Oh, she went through the attack. Alright. I can get a health down a reasonable amount. If, we, if you can break a poise, you can get a few hits. I need to. The problem is, I'm, I'm button mashing. I don't all. I don't usually button mash like this in a boss fight, but because we can actually like disrupt her her movements and break her poise, it's making me a bit um, like anxious to do that. Oh, 
Uh oh. Every time. Oh, I used the blood. <laughs> oh, man. I tap it. Well. Do I abandon the shield? Let's give it a try without the shield. Yeah, the strike damage might come in handy. I'm being a bit uh, reckless with my health, thinking I can use Prayerful Strike. She's awesome, though. Is it interesting though, in terms of Queen Marika, how, you know, Radigan had the red flowing red hair and the children have the red hair as well, so maybe she like like fully like changed her her body, right? And then to create uh, to have her children. Maybe she like actually physically turned into a different person who was Radigan, but it was still her. You know, just in terms of the children and stuff, it's a bit it's uh, interesting, right? Do it. That goes a bleed. Right, you need to heal, Matt. Yeah, you need... Okay, if, uh, if this is... If that, if that attack is similar to how I remember dealing with... Um, it wasn't Sword Saint Ishin, it was the other Ishin, the other version of Ishin. You had, uh, it, it, it pretty much does like a 100 degree sweep in front of him, so if you get behind him, or if, if you got behind him, you could avoid the attack, the attack completely. So next time she does that, I need to move towards her. I believe. I don't know if there's like a specific trigger for that, whether she does that when she takes a bit more damage. Ton of health back off that. I think she blocks that. Oh. I'm out of here. Because if she does that huge thrust charge attack when I'm healing, I need to be really far away from it. Really? 
really chaotic to get behind though. Especially when I'm just mashing R1 like an idiot. I need to pause between my swings a little bit more, give myself a chance to change what I'm doing. Yeah, you gotta get inside it. The problem is that she kind of like shifts around you. So it's a bit uh, like she's changed because she does it three times. It's not like it's one big wind up. And then she goes for it. It's like she does one, a few attacks, second one, and then a third one. And they're all at different angles. It's not like I can just go at a straight on. I have to kind of re. I have to. Because she repositions. I forgot to change my flasks because I was so annoyed. Yeah, good one. She's going to go for it. She's going to go for the big attack. I sense it. I'm going to heal. I'm going to heal. I can trade with that attack. Yeah, shit. Hit him, Matt. Hit. Hit. Double chug. Get off the screen. <laughs> Can't mess up basic combos like that, man. I'm close! I'm gonna heal. I can't believe it, man. I'm gonna mess this up. Trade hits, man! Yeah, I knew there'd be a second phase. God damn it, man. God damn it. I, I stand absolutely no chance here, man. Maybe Millicent's gonna come here. Oh. It's not over, Eover. Step away. <laughs> it's not over. Wait. Oh. Here comes the Scarlet Rot version. Wow. 
I believe you. Now, rot. Shield. I'm already dead, man. What am I supposed to do? She's a butterfly. Where did her health go? Have I got the rot? Yeah, I've got the rot. I knew, I knew it was going to be a second, like, health bar, second phase. Oh, God, how am I going to deal with that? Uh, we had something to do with the Scarlet Rock. Yeah, this poison on rot in vicinity increases attack power. Blood loss. I don't know how I'm going to deal with this, man. Because the problem I'm going to have now is I've got to get through the first health bar as quick as possible. So we want to boost immunity, basically. If we need to deal with the rot, so we get an extra 140 immunity from the horn charm. Now, does it does it say resistance? So higher the number, the lower your susceptibility, governed by your attributes as well as defensive gear and any additional effects. Now, obviously, I think we're going to have to do the first phase again. There's, there's very little chance we skip straight ahead. So now the pressure becomes getting through this as quick as possible. I'm feeling very deflated right now. So I think that this is, this feels, the, the fight is nothing like the Moog fight. I just mean, it feels sim very similar to the Moog fight in that the key here is getting through this first phase as quick and as pain-free as possible. With as many flasks and just just as in as in as good uh, condition as possible, because the second phase has got scarlet rot in it, which makes it a million times harder. Which we were I was expecting anyway, but the the first phase's problem is just this goddamn death by a thousand cuts attack. 
I just, I just cannot deal with it. The only thing I can think to do is to use my great shield to consistently deal with it. I know you can kind of roll through it if you time it right, but yeah, I've just got to get the timing better. I'm just panicking so much when I see her go up, particularly if I'm close to her. If I'm far away, I can kind of break, I can, you know, prepare myself to do the, the timing a little bit better. Alright, finally. <laughs> this is not going to go well, man. We've got our Scarlet Rock resistance boosted, but... Man, I should probably have the boluses on a quick slot rather than on the bottom. I've got like eight flasks, nine flasks. Maybe she'll have, because she's not got her armor on now, maybe she'll be a bit more prone to bleeds and just have a little less defense, but she's still going to get her health back on successful attacks and she might still have every single sword attack that she had in the first phase. I'm gonna rewatch this because I only saw it once. Wait. So I guess this is how she heals. That's what this that that, that was like a shedded cocoon outside. Who will witness true 
Oh my god! My scarlet rot. Oh man. I just get done by a basic Betty combo from the first phase like that. God! Okay, I had to stop playing because, well, the game did crash on me and I was at the end of a play session, so I was a little fried. And, you know, it was getting kind of late, so I had to stop. But, um, I had to stop when I was fighting Moog as well. I was probably fighting Melania for about an hour-ish, maybe a bit more. Um, so in terms of strategy going forward uh, that still has to tie into my build, um, I've put all of my flasks into the Crimson Flask because we're not I'm not really using anything that uses FP. There's only one time during the fight I can use Prayerful Strike and that is after I get a crit on her. When she's getting up off the floor I can get in a Prayerful Strike. Uh, the only way I can consistently deal with the Thousand Cuts Sekiro uh, Ishin style attack is by blocking. So I'm going to use the shield for that because if the trade-off is if I use the shield she's going to recover way more health but I might die every time if I try and dodge it and I will get hit at least two or three times if I just try and dodge. I can't find the correct window for dodging through it. Maybe there's a trick. Maybe you have to hit, a, hit her when she's in mid-air with a ranged attack or something. I don't know. Uh, I can't figure it out so I'm going to have to resort to using the shield. Um, getting the and the second phase I don't know really know anything about it seems like it's pretty similar to the first phase but she has a lot of AoEs that center around the Scarlet Rot but her sword attacks feel somewhat similar so the, the key is knowing when to adjust back to the normal kind of sword move set um, I'm gonna need to Put some stuff in here, preferably the the boluses for getting rid of the scarlet rot because the scarlet rot she's putting on us seems way worse than the usual. Um, in terms of wondrous physic, I don't think anything's going to really benefit us too much because she does tends to do combo attacks, so the bubble isn't ever really going to save us. Um, I'm hoping I'm going to be able to be a little calmer after having a little break and coming back to it a day or two later or whatever. Um, it's just it's just me remaining patient. I think uh, I'm so desperate. I think I went through this phase a bit with Moog where I was trying to rush the first phase so much that I'd end up dying really unnecessarily just trying to tank through things because I just uh, I, I was I was aware of how much I was struggling with the second phase just because I wasn't able to practice it as much. So I just need to just dial it in here and know when to be aggressive and know when to be patient, know when to dodge, um, know when to trade shots. Uh, well, there was something else I needed to communicate. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Let's do it, man. I'm gonna try and use bleed, but I'm I'm aware that it's a finite resource. So this is a terrible start. No spamming! No spamming. I can interrupt her there if I time it right. Okay, I can get I can use a prayerful strike if I've got some stamina left. That'll squash you as well. Here we go. The 
There's no other way for me to deal with that, man. I'll save more um, blood grease for the second phase. If I get there. No, no three hits, Matt. That's too greedy. That could have cost me. What the hell, Matt? Dodge! What is going on with the input lag? What the hell? Just about got my shield out. I need to have at least 10 flasks for the second phase, so this attempt's already kind of dead. See, and I'm trying to trade hits there when I shouldn't be. Stupid. I think she was going for a grab there. Please don't do the... Gotta get back in the swing here. I can do I can get two hits in on her there. Oh, I thought I rolled. Alright, alright. Still out poiser. It's just her wings are disguising things now. No. All right, fine. I know I probably should have healed there, but I've got a. Uh, it's encouraging that I got there on my first attempt on the uh, second day of trying this, but I'm going to run out of uh, rock grease, I think. Um, blood grease, sorry. Yeah, I don't think I can craft that many more of them. So I maybe need to not use this in the first phase. That sucks. Uh, I can still proc a bleed on her just with the great stars, so... Um... I have got, obviously, I've got the immunizing horn charm on to try and deal with the scarlet rot. Uh, damage negation, obviously, very important. Just going to have to try and be patient. I did nearly die several times in that first phase then, so I can't exactly claim to have uh, done it too well, because I used, like, ten flasks just to get through. I hate that kick. Three hits. Nope, 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 nope. It takes a little bit longer if I don't use the blood grease.
You gotta roll through that, Matt. That was lucky. I've got no stamina for this. Oh, man. You gotta roll through that, Matt. The terrain saved me. No three hits. I keep breaking my own rules here. Oh, just about. Yeah, not doing too hot here. Interrupt just about there. I'm tanking too much though. I've not broken poise yet either to get a prayerful strike off. The problem is like like happened like has happened on this attempt. If she does that thousand cuts thing when I've got low stamina, I'm in real trouble. Five flasks. Okay, we can't tank that kick. I can see the end here. I can I can just about see the end besides dealing with the Scarlet Rot being like a massive X factor. I'm just going to have to brute force it, man, because the, the, there are... So the attacks that we, we, we can't interrupt, obviously the, the, the Thousand Cuts thing, and she has a Scarlet Rot variation there. I just didn't get, I didn't, I, I, it had a slightly different beginning animation, obviously, because she's got giant butterfly wings now. Um, so, seeing that is really important. My health, dude. Aggressive, Matt. No. What? What is this? By the Scarlet. She's got ghosts.
I was doing alright then. First phase was a mess, but... The thing is, man, like, every time I seem to get to the second phase, it's it's with a kind of rubbish attempt. Like, uh, obviously I'm editing, I'll be editing quite a lot out of this video, but I've done had one attempt where I got her, uh, like, this much health left and I had 13 flasks and I just made one mistake and died. So, I, the flasks wouldn't have made a difference really there, I suppose, but... See that one coming in the second phase just yet. And when she does the one that has the spirits, I'm like, I'm like in massive trouble when she does that. I don't know if I should block when she does that or dodge. Probably dodge. But when she does the million cuts thing, I have to block. It probably will do damage through my shield, but in the second phase. All right. Stamina. Going in, man. Let your flesh <laughs> be consumed <laughs> by the scarlet rot. Fuck. <laughs> uh, that is actually probably a good opportunity to use prayerful strike, right? I could probably get two of them in there. I'd be taking damage. I'd get the scarlet rot. That was so stupid. I didn't think it was going to last that long, to tell you the truth, guys. Ugh. That blows. Come on. Chug.
Hedgehog. That was stupid. Quick, Staggerer! I oh, missed out on a hit there. What am I doing? I can't just tank through all that. I have to take a break to heal. I'm just so eager to get my damage in before I have to, like, like run away desperately. Damn it. That was a chance to heal as well. God damn it, she did it straight away. What? Oh. Oh. God. All right, chug, chug, chug. Oh, I messed it up again. Tanking it, man. No! By the scarlet rod. I think there is perfectly. I think the problem is that those phantoms. Like once they hit the ground, they, they, they hit you once and then they're going to do a, like a side swipe attack. So it's just really difficult to pay attention to all of it. And I don't know whether to do it with my weapon one handed and have my shield out. Because the shield in courage is just going to make the fight take forever. Whereas if I, if I two hand and just dodge a lot, you know, I can get this thing done much quicker. my last blood grease. Why am I crouched? No, man. <sighs> you click L3 once and you ruin an entire attempt.
please! Please get away from the edge, please. Topping my health off. Wow. I survived for a long amount of time, but uh, she just kept getting her health back. I just I can't use the shield. Except for when she does the thousand cuts attack. And maybe when, I don't know, when she does the, the phantoms attack. I don't know. Because I'm, I'm going to have to, so she summons three phantoms and they both do two attacks. And then she does a, a, a thrust attack. So I'm going to have to dodge seven times to get out of the way of that. Unless you can kill them, I don't know. Heal.
And she and she comboed it into that. I mean, what the hell am I supposed to do? She comboed it two strongest moves back to back. Like, come on, man. Those are her two, like, massive attacks where she summons three butterfly men. And then when she does the Sword Saint Ishin attack. Like, and she just and she just did them back to back. Like, I don't understand I've messed up the roll, but... On the thrust attack, but... Jesus, man. I'm shaking, man. Oh. <laughs> I got like an adrenaline dump, like when I saw how close, I, how low I was getting a health. And I just got like a really good run of RNG with the attack she was throwing. She didn't throw any of her big heavy moves. 
she she just did the AOEs mostly, and they're much easier to to spot. I got my shield out when I needed to, and then I just, I felt the surge of, oh no, this might be it. And then as soon as I thought that, I think that that was Curtain. Oh, it's devastating. That was such a good attempt. Unlucky, Matt. I just, when she was, and I got, I think, just, I think what happened was when she was turtling up and she had the rot around her, and you know, obviously I went in too early, but. I just thought, right, I can finish her, but I got the Scarlet Rot then, so I was panicking, thinking about, oh, I need to use a bolus and all this shit. And uh, I just couldn't, con I, was, I was thinking about, oh, where have I put the boluses on the shortcut menu? And then she was gaining health back and it was, yeah. yeah. You can't catch the Scarlet Rot in that second phase. Oh, we both win. Damn it. Again? That's three millennia.
I get so close to seeing the end. I just think... Wow, that's the cleanest first phase yet. Watch me screw this up. Yeah, keep doing that. Oh, Matt. No! 14 blasts! What are you doing, Matt? What? God. God, I can't believe it, man. I just, I cannot pick up the right telegraph that tells me the difference between the ghost, the butterfly ghost one, and the thousand cuts one, the Ishin attack one, in that second phase, I just can't tell yet. Because I'm thinking about getting my shield out if she's going to do the, th the thousand blades attack thing. Thousand cuts, whatever you want to call it. The Ishin attack. Chug, chug, chug.
God damn that kick. got to kill her quick man i've got to kill her quick and i've got to get some good rng with the with the with the with her two most damaging attacks i've got to get her quick because if i if it drags out she and she she's going to keep chipping her health uh, refilling her health bit by bit and i'm going to run out of flasks i'm going to run out of health i'm going to run out of buffs right Squash her! Oh, I saw it coming. Beautiful. It's the first time for everything, dude. my dodge I'm dead man is like she's so fast like I can't like wait for a pause between attacks I can't just wait for a second so I ha I'm preloading my combo my my um my attacks a lot of the time only like two three hits but because of that I'm missing so many crits um and that second phase that's probably vital but you know, I have, I'm poising through some of her attacks, so I can't just do one and, and wait.
quick, Matt. Double chug. I saw it, I saw it. God damn it. Fine, fine. Mike, you're supposed to trade hits with her when she does that. Chug! I'm so close! <laughs> oh, that really hurt, man. That one really hurt. Because I was surviving. It was just like, like I got so close to the end there when I got the crit and I used prayerful strike. And then I just got really timid all of a sudden, like I was waiting for the perfect moment. Whereas I've been being successful by trading hits with her on her basic combos getting out of the way of the ghost combo dodging the kick and the and the thrust attacks and blocking the thousand cuts Ishin attack like I just like started being really timid like I should have just gone for her because she was doing basic sword combos that I can poise through oh that sucks man that really really sucks I used her AoE to rebuff which really helped which gave me like a good second wind of damage oh that's that feels like a real missed opportunity come on Goddamn kick! Oh, that's a back again! Oh, 
Oh, I'm so sick of that kick, man. Saw it come in for one. No! No stamina, Matt. Shit, double heal. Don't go too early. Perfect. No, Matt. No! God! No! By the Scarlet Rock. What did I do then? Why? I, I was just like fumbling. The attempt here. I'm, I get like, I'm getting like 90% of the way there and then I just get flustered by a simple attack. Like you see a simple attack, you trade hits. Like that, that's like the simple like modus operandi. For, for my character doing this fight is when she does simple attacks I need to trade hits because it means I get two hits if I stagger her like and I just didn't do it like I'm, kind, I'm seeing the telegraph on the kick on the little kick that she does that has loads of poise god Come on, do your thing, Ishin. We all know you're going to do it. Just do it. Oh, your sh stupid kick. That kick. The bane of my life. God damn kick.
คกมาโบโบโบโบโบโบ No kicks Get my shield out on time, man. I thought she was doing an AOE. By the time I realised she was doing the swords, I didn't get, I hadn't got my shield out. The pain, man. The pain. I could see the end there. I was so close. I ran out of stamina. If I would have got the crit, rather because you know, I, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm button, button mashing. But I've got to, because I'm so slow, uh, I've got to get my, I don't know, maybe I don't, maybe I, I, if I time it I can do it last second, but, oh, that was close, man. Chug. How dare you do that so many times? Run in, run in, run in. so close I shouldn't have taunted her Butterfly man, get three hits.
I'm losing my mind here, game. I'm losing my mind. I was absolutely pulverizing her on that attempt. If you like, basically, when she's on the ground, no respect, no respect for anything that she does, right? Except for the kick. That's the only thing I can't break a poison. Everything else, the grab, any other bullshit attack, except for the thrust. But she goes it, so and then anything she goes in the air for is danger. That's just that's the long and short of it, man. Chug! I can't believe this, Matt. I'm missing the crit every time. I think I would have. I think I could have done it then if <laughs> if I would have got the crit. Unbelievable, dude! How I'm messing this up right, right at the end.
Extraordinary. The mark of a true lord. Fuck. Oh, dear Mikola. Oh, dearest Mikola. My brother. I'm sorry. I finally met my match. Wow. Wow. I feel like I've gone through the transformation that Gandalf went through, except in reverse. Man, the, that, that uh, successful attempt there, that was exactly how I knew my successful attempt was going to go. It was going to be quick. I had to get in, hopefully have a bit of good luck with the moveset RNG. Because, I mean, I've survived every one of her powerful moves at, at various points, but there were occasions like... There was one where she... The, the butterfly men, the butterfly samurai, she chained that into the Ishin million sword attack, you know, death by a thousand cuts attack. And it's just nuts when, uh, when that happens, right? I'm trying to think what happened in that last one. I think, I think the key to the successful attempting is her doing the big flower AOE. That really gives you a moment. If you're low health, it gives you a chance to heal. It gives you a chance to re rebuff. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about the boss fight overall. I've gone through like... Because obviously I've played it I played it uh, during my last play session and then I've, I've played it today. And like after I finished playing the other day, I was just like so... I started off really liking it because, because you know, it, it kind of felt like a... A Sekiro fight, you know, a quick swordsman. Um, but then, after I'd played it for a bit, and obviously my build probably makes this fight a lot more difficult. I don't know. I don't really know. It might make it easier. I don't know. But and then I was like, well, is it really that fun doing a Sekiro fight without any of the tools that you have in Sekiro to deal with a fight with a swordsman that makes that game? so uh, the combat so good I was like well no all I've got all I can do is dodge block and hit and you know you, I've got my special attacks and stuff and obviously if you had ranged stuff I imagine that would help parts of that but she could dodge I mean I threw a few throwing knives at her at points and she could dodge them so then I was a bit salty because I was like well I can't deal with any of this um, blocking just means the fight goes on forever I'm slow um, but then, you know, 
uh, I started to come around to it. I think I was getting annoyed because I was spending so much time in the first phase. Like when I did a successful first phase, it went like it went like really well. But then sometimes she just make a slight mistake and then she just ices you like so quick. And I really hated that. Like I, I, I have no problem with any move in the fight except for that death by a thousand cuts attack. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do to deal with that. Like without a shield. Like if you had no, if you didn't have like a. a a proper shield like I don't know how you deal with that and even if you do use the shield she gains like a good what sixth maybe of a health back like a really significant portion of a health back um, so that can't be the way you're supposed to deal with it that's just like me I think that was just like a brute force way of doing it but <sighs> so either there's just like a really specific dodge window in there but it can't maybe you need to get like directly underneath her but like like the fact i think a, i think the second two she's on the ground for i don't think she's up above for all of them because it's like three attacks right Cause it felt like it was like a 360 attack a lot of the time or or like a like a 270 degree attack around her if it wasn't quite 360 so getting behind her just and she she pivots anyway between each one so it's really difficult to 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 um know where to roll so uh i maybe i just didn't figure that out so you guys could tell me i'm not i'm not i'm not saying that like i out of the gate hate it i just couldn't figure out what to do other than tank it so i did uh, i had to deal with this fight in the way the t a tank would deal with this fight which was go toe to toe, pressure, in her face, and trade hits. Because at the end of the day, one of her hits in terms of her health recovery didn't recover her more health than a successful blow from me. So I just had to trade shots with her. And uh, that's what I think that's what was making it frustrating towards the end was how. I could really, I, I kind of understood everything that I had to do, right? There was the kind of no, well, there was some stuff, you know, that you had to deal with, like, the RNG of how she comboed some of her more dangerous attacks. But then I could, you know, I, I felt like I had I'd seen all of her moveset. I knew how to get past nearly all of it. But then it's just, I just kept making mistakes and then, the there were I think there were maybe like eight attempts where I got really I got a health like really low and then either I ran out of stamina or or whatever or I noticed her health being low and I just kind of got a bit complacent and I just backed off or and I stopped trading hits and or I started dodging too much or I was looking to try and heal or, or just something that I wasn't doing like like for my build I think the key to this particular fight was just to have no respect for her normal attacks because she's got no poise right so only dodge when she's in the air or she was doing that annoying kick well that's technically in the air right so if she was in the air she, she had poise if she was on the ground she had zero you know not not 100% but near like most of her attacks so I just had to bulldoze them and uh yeah <sighs> crazy and i finished with like i only did it with what i used seven flasks so that's that's what i felt i felt like when this when this goes well it's going to go like really quick and really well so yeah awesome so yeah <laughs> ultimately i think it was it was an awesome fight i was feeling a bit salty about, like like i said i was going through i was going through the phases i think i think i was like in awe at the beginning and i was a bit dejected and I was a bit salty because I was like, well, because uh, I was like, well, this, this feels like a Sekiro fight. I don't have any of the Sekiro tools to deal with this. And then I kind of got over. And then I think that's the, that, that was the like, after, because I think the game, because the game crashed on me as well. Or it, it froze even in the loading screen. Um, I think I was just like, and, and, then I, and then I stopped playing for that day. I think I was just like mad. 
So I was like making excuses. And then coming back to it now, I can you can kind of see the path. It's just um, it's just difficult. I imagine for like a dexterity build, mate. I feel like there's probably some pretty good parry windows because she does. She did telegraph quite a lot of the attacks, but it's difficult. I mean, for some of them being thrust, like the thrust attacks, and uh, a tough to do parries and because I've not indulged in any parrying I, I did a, I've done a bit when I was doing my testing just before the playthrough you know on like the like the the Godric soldiers uh, but I imagine this is one of those fights that you can probably use some parries in but it's very high risk not even you don't even get much of a reward for it the crits didn't do like massive massive damage the only times they did loads of damage was when it procked a bleed at the same time yeah, wow, I'm exhausted. Um, that was that was nuts. I've got to sit. Uh, uh, how long did that take me? I want to say like four-ish hours, four and a half. I think it's difficult because I think the first part of this video is not the boss fight, is it? So, um, yeah. I think the problem was as well uh, because I would keep I would die quite consistently in the first phase occasionally. Sorry, not occasionally, consistently. Because you know I'd get to the second phase, have a go at it, and then I'd just want to get there again. So I'd, I'd really try and bulldoze her in that first phase at, at, at points where I, I knew I couldn't. So I was just making myself more frustrated. But yeah, awesome. I don't know how you deal with that as a low defense character. Uh, I guess if you were, but yeah, I, I, I don't know how easy, sorry, yeah, that's the question. I don't know how easy it is to break her poise, you know, to like, to stagger her. Obviously, we're using a strike weapon. We've got a lot of poise. We're using a great hammer, two-handed. So, I don't know, she, she had armor on in that first phase. But, um, yeah, I mean, I guess she's like the most notorious swords, 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 sword wielder. In all of the lands between. She lived up to her reputation, right? Sad that... She, I don't know. I kind of felt like I wanted to tell her about Mikola. But I guess Mikola's in some weird cocoon. He's not alive. He's not dead. It's a strange one. <sighs> so, uh, I wonder what this means for Millicent. Because she's, she's still here. I guess... I think she's going to show up now. So... Let's, uh, let's have a little rest. Because there's that, that cocoon, that orange cocoon outside. Yeah. Maybe Mikola will be reborn. Maybe these Empyreans can't, like, actually die. I thought I saw Millicent's hair, but it was just another leaf. Let me see! No, Millicent's still there, so maybe this is for her. I mean, I distinctly can't. Maybe this is just grows on um, Melania's body. I'm, I'm pretty sure I will have called Melania Mikola like 87 million times during that fight, so I apologize. But she kept saying, every time she kills you, she said Mikola. <sighs> wow. <laughs> that was an experience, man. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's been quite the build-up coming here, right? Because we've heard so much about Melania. There's so much lore surrounding her, her legend, right? The kind of connection that her and General Radan have. And the kind of contrast between her and her brother, who... I guess her brother's more isn't really, like, there's powerful i don't know we might end up fighting him at some point he might crawl out of his cocoon 
So I don't want to throw sh too much shade <laughs> at um, old Mickey. Right, I don't know what to do with myself, man. Um, I'm just going to check how much intelligence we needed to wield this. Oh, 20. Mm. So I, I'd probably just end up using the talisman. So let's just get our normal loadout on for the time being. Wow. Yeah. So uh, an awesome fight in the end. Um, yeah, really like be beyond challenging. Extremely challenging. But the the hammer prevailed, and uh, the one thing I like is I think we uh, I did that in a style true to this build and this playthrough, right? That's how we've been playing this game. I didn't switch out and you know use a parrying shield and a katana, or I didn't start using range stuff. Like there's nothing wrong with doing any of that. I just mean. You know, I've, I've defeated Moog, I've defeated all of the, the, the room bearers, you know, in my, in the style of my character, which is brute force, right? And of all the fights, this fight is meant to punish that, right? Because she hits you, she recovers her health, right? So, we, I mean, obviously we had to abandon the shield, but we, we used our poise. And the glorious tree sentinel mohawk powers on. So um, I'm going to leave it there, guys, because I am drained. Now I've got to go sit. I've got to sit through like four hours of footage <laughs> to edit this for you. So I don't mind. I'm not complaining. Beautiful. Right. We'll we'll um, we'll check in with Millicent. We'll check in. Uh, I hope I've not screwed up Millicent's quest. It's not as if we could have spoken to Melania, but maybe we could have told Millicent where this place was. So I might have screwed that quest up, but we'll pick it up from here, see what see what happens, maybe make our way to the mountaintops of the giants. So hope you enjoyed this video guys. Please, please leave me a like if you did. <laughs> Just remember everyone. Never trust an on crate. I'll see you next time.